What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have some insane MT making methods and a lot of stuff going on in the market. We just got Anthony Davis, man. Whew, I'm so excited to use him. But yeah, we are going to have millions of MT. Before we get to the video, guys, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff, because that would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated, man. I need... The subs, I need that because we're going to do an MT giveaway on Twitter once we do hit 11,000 subs for 100,000 MT. So make sure to go like it up. Um, 150 likes in the video would be greatly appreciated. We're also selling MT, man. We are, we're going to have so much MT in a second that we are going to need to sell this. So guys, we're going to go over a ton of MT making methods. And honestly, we're going to go over the market. We're going to talk about it. We're going to make you guys MT in this video. So please, man, drop the sub, yo, please. Okay, so... What I've been noticing, the content this week is going to be doo-doo. So, in my opinion, I think the market is going to inflate. This is what you guys should be doing. We're going to make you guys some MT in this video. So, I think the market is going to inflate because I think they're not going to drop the best content. I think it's going to be like a nice standard week, possibly a token market update with a prime content. We're going to see. But what I think you guys should do, I think you guys should hold on to your cards now because the market is still somewhat crashed. Do I think it's going to get revived? Personally, in my opinion, I think the market's definitely going to get revived. And I think you guys should make a lot of MT this week. So what am I doing? Um, I'm mostly keeping all those expensive. I'm pretty much just selling my whole team because I did just get AD. I really don't want to risk anything happening. I'm pretty much selling my cards now. Even though the market is crashed and I think I could get more MT, but then again, these cards are literally just for sets. Like, it's not like I have Bowl Bowl and stuff. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to sell Bowl Bowl. I would just recommend you guys, since I have a lot of MT, it doesn't really matter for me. But all the grinders out there, all you guys should definitely sell your cards now. I would definitely recommend, not, not now, in a few days. I would say before Friday is a good time to sell your cards. Why? Because honestly, it's just a good time to. Um, I could definitely see that being a good time to sell cards and getting ready for Friday's Prime. Friday's Prime could be really crazy. They could drop Paul George. They could drop a lot of crazy stuff. So if that does happen, man, get ready. We're going to have a huge market crash, hopefully. Or it could be a revived week. Like I said, man, Prime doesn't really crash the market. Prime honestly just makes it better. Prime pretty much raises the market up for us, literally. If Prime comes out... We just sit here, man. We got our MT racked up. You can make thousands of MT off the Prime Amethyst and the Diamonds. That's what I've been doing. It's really, really money. But yeah, I definitely think if they do drop Prime this week, market will rise big time. I definitely can see it because think about it. Takeover packs are gone on Friday. With that being said, if takeover packs are gone, we should be able to make a lot, a lot of MT. You know what I'm saying? So if they are gone... That means the auction should definitely go back to at least somewhat normal because you have to think about it, man. Those takeover packs, those takeover packs really destroyed the market. You have to, you can't even say they didn't. Those packs were deadly as hell, man. They really, really destroyed the auction. And with that being said, I don't think it's end game yet. Honestly, yeah, it is. Because I did just get AD with a ton of cards left over. It's definitely end game, but I don't think it's end end game. Like the game hasn't really been on sale for in the US yet. So I definitely do think the market has potential to somewhat go up a little bit. And I definitely think you guys can make a lot of MT. Definitely. I don't think you guys are done yet. I think we could still make MT off this. Now, how are we going to make MT? The diamond filter and the pink diamond filter have been going crazy. Like literally every time you refresh... Put your, your uh, maximum bit higher and just continue to refresh with the maximum bit. I'm actually going to show you this in a second. Man, these two filters have made me so much MT over the years. Literally, over the years, bro. I've been playing 2K for a while now. But yeah, I'm going to show you the diamond filter. What's this guy's name real quick? Hold up. Something Reed, right? What's his name? 
Oh, okay, right there. That's a snipe. So we guys got Larry Hughes for 1700. That's a little snipe. But I'm telling you guys right now, this diamond filter, these cards are going to rise. I promise you guys, 110% going to rise. Definitely, definitely work on this diamond filter, man. Like I'm telling you right now, man. This diamond filter is going to be so deadly. It's going to treat you well. They are going to rise at least to 2500. If you can make 600 a pop and you pick up a hundred. 100 times 600 is 60k if you spend a thousand no 1500 and you pick up a lot man you're going to make hundreds of thousands of mt off this one card right here it's really amazing like spud web for instance the spud web investment went so well all my subs who invested in spud web for around 1300 mt he rose up to 4k about a week later if you invested you made 3000 per 3,000 times 100 is 300K. So if you spent 100K, you tripled your MT. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's a snipe. Give me that. Like, look at this Ami filter, man. We just got MJ for 1K. I don't know what he goes for exactly, but he definitely doesn't go for 1K, I don't think. I don't think MJ goes for 1K. There's no shot. Oh, wait, he is on TTO boards. He does go for 1K, but it was a little snipe. He goes for like two. I'm holding on to them. But man, um, what else should we do? So we got the, oh, the heat check filter. I don't know what it is. I think they might be on TTO boards. But the heat check filter was popping off like crazy lately. Um, I definitely would recommend putting your buyouts to around like 2,900. And just continue to refresh heat checks. I'm going to actually show you that right now. One second. Oh, this has a limited. We'll put that up for a little more. Hold on. Let's see. Heat checks. Let's go over it quick. Heat check, 2,900. This is going to be a beastly MT making method. And also, of course, we got the new buzzer beaters in packs. But for some reason, they're not showing up on Xbox, which is kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. All right, there we go. So let's see if they do have my boy Y Chi. That's what I call him. I don't care, bro. Roast me or whatever. All right, he's up. Uh, okay, yeah. So what I would be doing, guys, is investing in Marberries and Y Chi's. Um, you're going to see Y Chi be expensive. He's actually a very, 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 very good pink diamond. But Marberry, the Marberry snipes should be popping off the charts like crazy. They should be every single refresh, fire. Every single refresh. 13,100. That's not really a snipe. Honestly, I could probably sell for 17, but I don't want to take the risk. It is a diamond. But yeah, this card, man, should be popping off the charts. There we go. We got some MT racked up. We got to get our MT racked up, man. We got so much stuff to sell. It is crazy. But, yo, what you guys should be doing right now. So, let's go over it. We got the market inflation coming very, 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 very soon. So, okay. I'm going to go over some cards. So, Bosch is up a little bit. Curry's down. Oh, okay. So, this is what I've seen. So, every card is definitely rising a little bit. Every card is inching their way up. It's not like, like, MJ Galaxy Opal went up about 100K. Every card is definitely going up. It really, there really isn't that big of a market crash anymore. It's definitely rising in price. Besides the cards that were buyouts, those dropped a ton. So all the cards that were buyouts continue to drop. All the cards that were D, like OP cards like LeBron, Shaq, and all them, they went up a little bit. That's what I'm going to say. So if you have any of those cards, man, definitely throw them up on the auction. It's 110% worth it. That's what I would do if I were you. Definitely throw up those cards, man. You can make thousands and thousands of MT if you really wanted to just by throwing up these cards. And man, in this video, I'm pretty much just showing you how much MT I'm really going to make off these cards. It's really crazy. Ooh, a 49K one. That's like a snipe. I'm not throwing mine up for 49K. But oh my God, guys, there's so much going on right now. There's so many snipes. Like if you guys want, you could also do an enabled Galaxy Opal filter. There's literally so many methods right now because the auction's crazy, man. You could literally make MT right now with your eyes closed. It is so easy, I promise. Just continue to follow my methods. My methods right now are simply Pink Diamond and Diamond Filter. That's probably the fastest way you are definitely going to make MT. Definitely those filters. I would definitely recommend you hop on those filters. Heat check filters, all that good stuff. You're going to make thousands and thousands of MT. Also... Man, heat checks are definitely the longer way. Like, they could take you a while to sell. That is the only problem I got. But, yeah, other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Oh, I just botched that one. Third video done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Peace.